This week, I'm revisiting an old project and adding some minor updates. I've been meaning to upgrade the button PCB with these new soft switches. These soft buttons have a nice feel to them and feature conductive rubber actuators. So in this video, I'll show you how I CNC milled a new button PCB. I've been learning how to create parts in Eagle CAD and designed a simple PCB to test out the new footprint. The other plan software has native Eagle CAD support, so it's really easy to set up PCBs. I routed the board specifically for a single tool, so I had to make sure the clearances were within the tool's diameter. The other mill is a really nice CNC mill that's great for making quick prototypes, and at Adafruit, we use it to make all of our testers. These FR1 blanks from OMC are pre-cut and come in a pack of 10. They're great for making single-sided PCBs and are pretty easy to work with. To secure the blanks to the spoil board, I like to use a wide roll of double-sided scotch tape. I tend to use a few strips, space them out evenly to avoid any overlapping. It's important to get good alignment with the spoil board, so you gotta make sure the PCB is square with the lower left corner of the bed. I'm using a single tool for this and basically trying to avoid swapping out different tools for each operation. This 132 inch flattened mill will do all of the traces, drilling the holes, and contouring the outline all in one go. The other plan software does a really good job of handling the operations. You don't have to manually set up any tool paths, which is pretty awesome. However, it's a good idea to watch it and ensure things are going smoothly. Just make sure the tool is going deep enough and the board is properly secured to the bed. The whole process only took about 8 minutes which is pretty fast when compared to other methods. I like the other mill because it's enclosed but I don't have a dust collection system yet so I do have to do a thorough cleanup which is easy enough to do with the right vacuum attachment. The tool I used is starting to dull so as a result it did leave behind some burrs but I found it easy to smooth out with a piece of scotch bright. Give it a light sanding, knock out those rough edges to get a nice polish. I like to use the alcohol trick to soften the adhesive with the help of a thin spatula, you can easily pop off the PCBs. The tool normally doesn't cut all the way through, but it's easy to snap off the pieces. Just make sure to do that over a trash bin so the dust falls into that instead of the floor. I had to use a needle to poke out all of the holes in the pin out, so just be careful not to poke your fingers. Just a bit of cleanup required, but nothing too time consuming. These PCBs came out really well and will save me from having to make a whole bunch of wired connections. So how well did the buttons fit? Well, actually pretty good. I made sure to use the dimensions from the tech drawings so it's pretty accurate. Also, the other mill is just really precise. In a future project, I'll put this prototype to good use, so make sure you're subscribed. If you have any questions, be sure to check out Adafruit's Discord channel. You can also join the notification squad to get notified when the next project video drops. I'll see you guys then.